my God, your career is just blown up. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I mean, it, what you know, you you did a lot of horror. You you kind of, but you're you're really going to very unique and interesting places, especially with this film. How did you get involved, and in, what was it about this character? Oh, I, I just got it from uh, one of my agents. Uh, it got sent to me, and I read the script, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it was different from the other stuff, and I thought that was good. That was good to kind of have a different. You know, instead of doing just horror film, I, I wanted to probably do something in a different direction. And this was like the perfect opportunity. I mean, it was such an amazing uh, director and it's such an amazing, uh, it, such a great uh, script. Uh, the, the way it was written, it was beautiful. And I thought, I, I can't say no to this. I can never say no to this. I don't know who anyone w who would, because this is amazing. Um, and so I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, <laughs> and it's uh, Peter. I, I gotta say, this is you have you and Paul have this beautiful on screen chemistry. Uh, what was it like kind of finding that? Because Paul is just such a lovely human being in general. Can you talk about building that the relationship that you share in the film? Um, yeah, well, as you said, uh, Paul is a lovely person and he's a very good actor. I mean, he's he's really an actor, he's not a personality, you know, so that I, I was very happy that we cast him in the movie uh, and working with him, you know, he's very professional. He knows what he's doing. He knows his craft. And uh, so do I. And uh, so you look at the person, at the actor, and you derive things from them. You know, you start looking at their face, at their body, how they move, how they behave, how they smoke, and you start you know, like it is like a relationship that you build in real life. So that that's how it works in, in filmmaking as well. Um, so it was it was utterly professional. And it was utterly natural as well. It was just there. Um, Alan trusted that. I mean, he knew what he was doing um, with these two actors, him and I, and and uh, that did come across, which is a blessing. So that's it's kind of nice to know. Yeah, and the three of you, it's its just such a wonderful connection between the three of you, on the, and, and that's really obviously important in a road film. Yeah. Was there a moment for, I guess, both of you that really connect, that you really connected to, that really, a scene that re you really, that really worked for you and, and meant something to you? Sophia, let's go back to you a little bit. Oh, what really meant, oh, jeez. Uh... Um, well, I, I love the scenes with uh, in the car because that's when I got to really talk to both of them. And it was really it was really great um, to, you know, uh, hang out and it felt like a road trip. It really did. Um, and um, I'm trying to think of like a specific scene that just was was I mean, I loved uh, everything was 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 great in different ways i mean i love the scenes where just the two of them i remember this is one scene where i'm actually not really that much part of it but it's when those uh when uh uh Wall wally comes out of the car and they have that little conversation and then i'm just watching from like <laughs> a mile away just like what, what's happening over there and just to hear them two of them talk and bicker it was it was such a lovely scene. You get to really see their relationship. And um, at, at the same time, you just get to see how, how close they are. And and I don't know, just the, just sometimes the things that they say are just really funny. <laughs> and I always think that just, and I also just love the part where I try to get close and they say, you know, the whole thing where it's yeah. like, don't, you should go, go. And then he, he says, yeah. talk to her like a human being. Uh, she's like, She's not, what do you say? She's not a child. Or was she not a child? Don't treat her like that. And then, and then, and stay, then stay like a dog. <laughs> and you're like, what, <laughs> what do I, I do now? Yeah, it, it is a, for you, Peter, was there a quick moment? I know we got to wrap it up soon, but. Yeah, you, you know, it, you know, filmmaking, like it's not linear the way you shoot it. It doesn't start from the beginning of, so it's, it depends on locations and whatnot. So the first week was at the motel. And my first day was the fight scene, believe it or not. So meaning you need to hit that high notes right off the bat. Uh, and then with with Sophia, it was the car scene where we really connected. And it was it felt very natural. And it was natural because both uh, actors and characters were getting to know each other on an intimate level. Uh, so that worked out very nicely. We got very lucky with with the cast, with uh, for the actors. I mean, in a big way, in a big way, I think. Oh. 
Yeah, this is a phenomenal cast, and this is a wonderful movie, guys. Uh, congratulations, honestly, both oh, of you. Thank you, thank you James. I, I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>